Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSecPat. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is LAMP, L-A-M-P. We're going to be installing this on Ubuntu. I want to show you guys how to do the step-by-step -step installing. You know, we already did the operating system, Linux. The next thing we have to do is the A for Apache, Apache 2, M for MySQL, for like database management, and then P for PHP, which is the, the programming language. So if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. Thanks. All right, guys, welcome back. So this is my Linux box that we've been messing with for the past couple days, installing Metasploit, installing uh, Wireshark, doing a whole bunch of cool things. So this morning, today is Sunday morning, I was just uh, tinkering with the lamp, and I figured um, I'm going to be installing this and showing you guys what to do and how to do it. So, you know, I wrote up a little bit and what, you know, what to check and, you know, whole, whole uh, step by step process here. So before we do anything like I always do, which I haven't done yet, is take a snapshot. So let's go to a machine, take a snapshot, and I want to put before installing LA. L-A-M-P and copy this and just in case I break something I can revert my changes. It's always a good uh, best practice to take snapshots or take images or however you want to do it. But let this do its thing and then we'll get crack a lock All right. All right, cool. So let me uh, make this full screen again. That's fine. Okay, cool. So now we're now we're good. So first things first, let's open up this Word document. And we're going to be, in, like I said, we're going to be installing LAMP stack. So what that is, Linux is the operating system. Obviously, we did that. Apache was for the A. That's for the HTTP server. Uh, MySQL, that's for the database administration, uh, like database management system. And then PHP is a programming language. Okay. PHP is optional, but we'll get to that. So if we look down here, it pretty much, you know, shows you what, you know, what LAMP is. And it's pretty much an open, open source software stack. For web development, in you know, including an operating system, web services, database programming, each layer, you know, it's pretty much each layer has to be installed separately. That's at least the way I did it. So first things first, we'll start out at here. You know, we'll open up a terminal. You can use Control Alt T, but I have my terminal right on my window, right on my dock. So what I want to do is I want to do this. And I want to bring that over. So step one is open up the terminal, obviously, right? So I highlighted it so it's just easier just to copy and paste, or you can just you can just uh, type it. Um, first, we're gonna, we're gonna update the database, uh, update the repository, sorry. And once that's updated, we'll go on to, whoop, maybe a fat thing with it. Maybe I can't talk and uh, type at the same time, I apologize. Let's try this again. All right, guess not. So. We'll let that do its uh, app get update. So once that's done, we'll get Crackalack and installing um, Apache. Okay, so we'll just do install Apache 2. All right, so we'll install that. Yes, go ahead and do that. So once that's done, we'll go ahead and check the status. And if we go down here, once it's done, we'll use sudo service Apache 2 status just to see if it's running and if it's installed correctly. So while that's doing that, I'll go ahead and copy this. And it's done. Let's let's clear so we can soften a clean slate so you guys can see. Let's actually zoom this in a little bit so you can uh, see it a little better. All right, cool. So let's paste that sudo, sudo service Apache 2 status. And bada bing, it's running. You see it right here. Okay, cool. And um, so the next thing is, let's bring, so you don't see my big head in the way. So we see this, you know, I just took a picture. And so the next thing is, we'll, is the U firewall. So we'll check that. So let's go ahead and copy this. Whatever, we'll just type it. Uh, UFW 
uh, app list. Okay, cool. So we can see that the available applications are there. That's a good thing. All right, so now we'll go ahead and run this command to see everything. Copy, let's see if that'll work, paste. Invalid. Uh, to ensure there are... Okay, so let's do this. Let's do an IP address. And since we are running this in, uh, let me copy that. Since we're running this in um, VirtualBox, it has the, the, the default IP address is 10.0.2.15. I haven't moved it over to my InfoSec Pat um, network on VirtualBox. You've probably seen that in a couple of videos. So this is defaulted and Apache is running. So this is a good sign, okay? So let's minimize that, minimize that. All right, cool deal. So we can see that that's, that's running you, and that's pretty much the testy Apache. All right, so next thing's net, uh, the next thing is we're gonna do sudo app, app get install crawl, okay? Let's do that, let's uh, clear this again. Just clean slate, let's paste this, install. And let's wait till this is going. It's a pretty, pretty tedious process. All right. So now we can crawl this website. Copy. Uh, copy. Paste. Okay. And that's the IP address. That's good. Perfect. So let's just clear that. All right. So next thing is we're going to install MySQL and create a database. All right. So install, to install it, we're going to have to type uh, sudo app-get install mysql-server. Instead of typing it, I'm just going to copy this. Of course, it's not going to work. Copy, paste, and we're going to go ahead and install this. Yes. And let that go on its merry way. All right. So that's that. So next thing is we're going to be installing PHP and this is optional, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. Okay. This is a uh, going through the process of installing my SQL server. So we'll give that a few minutes. Let that do its thing. crazy it's so beautiful out and you have to stay quarantined because of this crazy virus I guess staying quarantined is better than getting it right and um, it's just I just still can't believe all this craziness is going on in the world all I can say is uh, hopefully everyone's safe and you know keeps their loved ones and family safe from this craziness just stay in your house and make yourself busy and this is what keeps me busy right <laughs> making videos and doing whoop, doing these cool cool things for everyone all right so let's clear that so the next thing is we're going to install php okay so let's just go ahead and copy this command sudo let's copy make sure I, of course not i don't know why it does that it's a bug um sudo app dash get install php Live Apache 2 dash mods dash PHP dash PHP dash MySQL. Okay. We'll go ahead and hit yes for that. I'm going to continue. And once that's done, we can modify the diff config or DIR, dir, directory config. And this is how we're going to go ahead and do that. The index. We'll see if we really have to do that. I don't think I'm gonna to have to do that. I don't think I'm gonna do it. But because I don't, I, I don't care about that part. Um, so what we're gonna do here is restart the Apache. Okay. Copy this. Oh, you know what? Before instead of skipping anything, because I wrote it, let's copy this, paste. Okay. So 
right here, see how the index.html. So we're going to move this. Copy. We're going to move it over here. Let me do this again. Let's see. Oh my this is what I hate about this day. No. Okay, let's do clear up arrow. Alright, so let's try this one more time. Which is crazy. Alright, so Directory, so we're gonna move, we're gonna say PHP here, okay? And then over here, we're gonna put HTML. HTML, oops, L. All right, so the way we're gonna save this, like I say it right here, Control X, so in here, you can type Control X, and then press Y, and enter, okay? That's how you're gonna go ahead and configure the, the, the config file and save it and all that stuff okay cool deal all right so let's clear that the next step is step five we're going to restart the apache server so we'll just copy this copy paste or oh shoot paste let me take this read out and we'll go ahead and restart it cool all right so now we're going to install some um, php modules all right, so let's just go ahead and we can type this command, apt-cache, search php minus, oh, of course I didn't get it. Copy this, paste. Okay, and then once you open, you can scroll up, for example, to php-cli, it's right here, okay. php-cli is by default, that's okay. And then type in, okay, perfect. Okay, Q. All right, let's, let's get out of here. Come on, what is going on? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I just want to X out of here. All right, let's uh, X out of this thing. Close terminal, open up a new terminal. That was weird. I think in the VM, like some of the keys don't work. But, all right, so that's cool. So now we're going to install, let's copy this, paste my fancy, fancy password. I say hit yes, probably. Okay, so yeah, I was trying to do quit, but all right. So now we can test the test the process. All right, so let's go ahead and copy this. Want to do? Oh my god! Copy, paste. All right, so. In you know in the blank so we're gonna insert we're gonna input this this piece of code. Okay, copy, paste. Oh, not that. So it's this little piece of code. Let's even copy this. Paste. Okay, perfect. And then do the same thing. Control X. Y for yes to save it. Okay, and then enter to confirm. And now we're back to the CLI. Let's clear this, make sure. So, so now what we do is open up the browser. So we're doing if config, oh shoot, I think that. I'll just do an IP address, not, not that word, IP address. So it's 10.0.2.15. So if we come down here and then we're gonna do info.php. So if everything works, we can use this. Oh my God, let me X out of here. So I'm getting confused. Okay. okay, so let's go back to let's do this. Uh, let's make sure. God, 
minimize this, bring this over here. All right, so now I do slash info dot PHP. And bada bing. So everything is working. So that pretty much concludes the video. So we have installed Linux, obviously, because we're running this on Linux. We installed Apache because we, we just tested that. The MySQL and the PHP because we had to make some modifications. And now you can see PHP is running. Okay, so this is it. This is the configuration. This is what we're running on and the whole shebang. And if we just go right to the IP address, uh, that'll show you the Apache. All right, cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please like, subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And uh, until next time, have a wonderful day and stay safe with your family.